What's up, everybody? It's me, and me only here with a, another episode of our Wi-Fi battles that I've been doing, the climb of the VGC ladder. Um, there is a local tournament that's going to be going on this Saturday, so this is probably going to be tomorrow by the time I upload it. I've been debating using the Sui and the Ligand team that I've been showcasing these past couple days. Um, this one here. But I figured it's going to be my first, like, local event, so I kind of want to just bring something pretty basic, pretty solid. So I have the team that's on the screen right now. It's got uh, Chan Pao, Amoongus, T-Tran, Urshifu, uh, this is a Fluttermane, and Tornadus. I literally went to Peakalytics, looked at the top six Pokemon, looked at movesets there, and I just kind of slapped it on a team. Just figured something that'd be really, um, you know, something strong, something that's probably going to be consistent no matter what I, um, no matter what I go up against, because there's a reason these Pokemon are good, you know? So... I just figured this is probably better than doing any gimmicks if the uh, event's going to be best of three. Hmm. Okay. This is interesting. So, they have the Ndidi Armor Rouge, but they also have the Champau Dragonite Core. Torkoal's kind of there. And I don't really know what Meowth wants to do in this regulation, in this format, if you will. Um, okay. So, what do I have against um, either of these leads, actually? There's probably something pretty obvious in front of me, but I don't think I have the Imprison on my Flutter main. No, I don't, but I do have the Pixie Plate, so that, that, that was, uh, that's not going to help at all. <laughs> uh, okay. I feel like Ndidi Armor Rouge is probably the most common lead that they're going to do here, because what do I have to stop that? Can't ignore redirection. Heatran can do the whatchamacallit. Mmm. Tornadus, what do you have? If Taunt. It's not gonna do me any good. I think I'll Tornadus and Urshifu. That'll at least get some damage off. I'll bring Pow in the back. And do I want Heatran? Yeah, I feel like Heatran can be pretty good here. Mm, will I regret my decision? I don't know. We're going to find out together. Uh, comment question of the day is, do you prefer best of one or best of three? Uh, the event I'm going to is going to be best of three with open team sheet, so that's another reason why I figured standard would be good. You know, If you look at your opponent's team, you see all the gimmicks. If you see after you want to sweep in the league, you're going to have a general idea of that. <laughs> There's a chance it's going to go for that. Um, so, let's see. They do lead in DD Armorers. Tornadus Urchifu. So I can't I can't prankster taunt. They are psychic seed. Or, oh. So do I want to Rain Dance? And just see how much a surging strikes can do? I feel like it's my best bet. If they do redirect, then I mean I should get some good damage on the DD. Rain Dance would be nice to get some additional damage on there. As much as I'd love to taunt the armor rouge, I can't. So I don't think I can stop Trick from going up here. Hmm. Yep. I think that's enough. So Redirection is going to be a thing of the past, so that's cool. I don't have to worry about that anymore. I definitely think getting the rain up there definitely sealed the deal on that. Do you expanding force? Now you go for trick room. So now I'm kind of at this point where if they want to Terra... Oh, they have Torkoal. Hmm... So I kind of want to switch out. Oh, I can't Aqua Jet. Because Terrain's up. I really don't want to send in Pow. So maybe I'll... Bleak Wind Storm with Tornadus and Protect Urshifu. Kind of hope that... Um, that Tornadus goes down and I can get Pow in to remove Terrain. And I also can try and send in Heatran to absorb any... Uh, Whatchamacallit here. Any fire type moves. 
Mm. It's kind of rough. But in the event that um, my Tornadus lives anything. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have just set up Brain Dance again. That, that was definitely the play. Yeah. Okay. That's all right. We're here to learn. That's why. That's why I'm doing this. <laughs> An expanding force. Hmm. I think Heatran might be good though. No, because the whole thing I want to do is I want, I want Pow to be uh. Able to break that terrain, so I can get Aqua Jets off if I have to. Doesn't really matter who I fire this off into. I just, or actually, how much terrain is actually left? Three turns. That's that's more than enough. That I feel like this is worth doing. I feel like Chip on Torkoal will be nice. I don't want to go for the double protect, but if I send in Heatran, it's Assault Vest. It's immune to fire type moves, so I feel like this isn't too too bad. Eruption is definitely gonna hurt Pow, but we're Sash, so we can live one hit. Oh, this is such a weird situation, because, like, <laughs> I feel like I need to be doing damage to this thing. Because if I don't, then it's just gonna keep um, firing off these massive attacks. But I do have uh, the ability to Sucker Punch now. So they cannot reset terrain. I can Sucker Punch anything I want. So I think Sucker Punch you and Earth Power Torkoal. Oh, that's that's good. All right. Oh, I definitely should have Terastalized there. Hmm. So I don't have Protect on Heatran, so I think Heatran's going down, so... <laughs> We're gonna have to see if I can pull off an Urshifu Clutch in the sun. Oh, your Life Orb? Okay. Crit. Oh, okay. No, that's definitely Aqua Jet range. <gasps> oh, maybe not. Hmm. I think it's still worth trying for it. And Dragonite. Hmm. No. I'm not feeling too confident here. One turn left to Trick Room. I don't think Terrastalization will help me out here at all. Dark Water. Hmm. Maybe I do harass a lot. No. Hmm. Kind of feel like protecting our Shifu here might not be bad. And E Wave, Flash Cannon, Earth Power Torkoal, maybe. Yeah. Because <clears throat> yeah, if you target Heatran, it's knocked out, but. I don't know. I feel like this is worth a shot. Ooh, you know what? <laughs> Let's see. What is Dragonite go for? Uh, oh, okay. So no matter what, my Archie doesn't have anything to hit this Dragonite super effectively. Outrage, it's to protect. Okay. All right. Well, the like searching strikes here and flash cannon. You're probably banded into outrage. Uh, I want to keep my resist. So let's see what a double up does. Oh my gosh, this is so sad. Hmm. I feel like my opponent might have this one. 
Unless it gets really unlucky with Outrage. Yeah, it targets Heatran. Well, no matter what, you're going to have to Outrage into me. You have to hit yourself, or you have to get confused. Because I think after you've used Outrage, if it gets protected, you get confused. Or is that just single stuff? Oh, all right. I don't know. I don't know much. Uh, I, I feel like close combat's the wrong move because I'm going to be taking more damage anyway. I feel like I got to get so lucky here. This is such a such a weird battle. So I need to live this outrage. This dragon needs to get confused and probably hit itself next turn. Oh my lord. So let's let's predict again. I really I really need to get this this confusion to happen. Unless it's it's not like there's an item that would make you immune to that. Show me the birds. Okay. There we go. Ugh. Leaving it to a coin toss yet again. That's that's just my thing. Ugh. Oh, this might, this might be enough. Please. Urshifu. Please. Hit yourself, Dragonite. I, I just, that's all I need. Come on. Let's go! <laughs> oh my lord, that was so close. I definitely cannot let Trickum go up. I got so lucky there. <laughs> um, jeez. All right. So, thank you guys for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I am gonna go put in prison on my my Fluttermane and Truck Room probably. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next one. <gasps> Bye.